Jack, uh, beer used to uh, to often go off in a uh, in a country town because of uh, the wooden kegs, the big old wooden kegs, and you could claim back the excise, as I remember. Tell us a bit about uh, about how you claim back the excise. Well, the trouble with the kegs, of course, was they were wooden kegs, and half the time they were in an open truck sent from Sydney and parked in the railway yard at Werris Creek. They might be there for one or two days. And they'd come up there, so we get, used to get a lot of bad beer. And if they complained, well, we used to take them off and then claim the excise on them and get a refund from the brewery. So uh, I had lots and lots of trouble with this, especially with Tui's old beer, the black beer. It used to go off badly. Uh, so I went over and I asked Ernie about it, Ernie Hitchens at the Imperial Hotel. I said, well, well Ernie, how do you get on? Do you? He was always the other brewery. I was two. He's, he was Tooth's. And he said, uh, oh, I don't know. He said, uh, I, I keep a keg downstairs in the cellar. And I said, and uh, how, how do you know it's off? He said, oh, it's off all right, because he said... Uh, uh, I run a lead from the drip tray <laughs> down to the <laughs> down to the keg, and I said, "You do what?" I said, "He runs the lead." I said, so I had a look, and I said, "Yeah, sure enough, here's this lead running out of the drip tray down into the cellar." And I said, "Oh,", oh he, he said, "Well, I don't claim it until uh, until it's the keg's filled." And then you claim the claim the excise. Then he claims the excise on top of the what's <laughs> yeah, so.